problem for this particular case. Square lamina of sides 35 mm is resting on one of the sides on HP and the lamina is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw its projections. So as you can see, this particular case wherein the lamina is perpendicular to VP and it is inclined to HP. See, always do the problem such that we are going to satisfy each and every point sequentially. See, I cannot uh, get the solution, everything in single gulp. So as you can see this, I wanted to satisfy such that lamina is inclined to one plane and perpendicular to other. Now just now I told you that whenever I want to satisfy this, this can be done in two stages. That is the first thing I need to do. The next thing what I should uh, decide is how to start. Okay, now as you can see in this particular problem, lamina is inclined to HP. Now just now I told you that since the lamina is inclined to HP, in the initial stage I will consider lamina to be parallel to HP. Now since the lamina is parallel to HP, true shape and size will be seen in top view. So first I will decide that I should start from top view. So that is my first step. Okay, now once I decide that I should start from top view, the next thing what I should decide is the orientation. So what about the orientation? So as you can see, it is given that this particular square lamina is resting on one of its sides on the HP. Okay, now since it is resting on one of its sides on the HP, I told you just now that the side which is resting on HP in the initial position should be kept perpendicular to VP. Then draw the top view. Then see, once you draw the top view properly, all other steps will simply follow. It's all mechanical procedure. But if you don't do this initial stage properly, everything will go wrong. So, whenever you do any problem, you have to think twice before drawing the initial position. But again, I am just going to illustrate this. Okay, now anyway, I told you that we have a square, I have a square lamina. It is uh, inclined at parallel to HP. So, initial assumption that lamina to be parallel to HP. Now, you should tell me whether I need to consider this lamina either on HP or above HP. Because anyway, on HP means also parallel. Above HP is also parallel. But which one you consider? It all depending upon a problem. But here what I have given? It is resting on one of the sides. Instead of resting on one of the sides, I would also given that 35 mm is par one of its sides is parallel to HP also I can give. Is it okay? But both statements are same. The only difference is, in this particular case, since one of the sides is resting on the HP on a ground itself, initially you assume that the entire lamina is resting on HP itself. Let us say, if I don't make that statement, if I say that simply that one of the sides is parallel to HP, in that particular case, I can simply consider this lamina above HP. Is it clear? So no need for always to keep it on HP. It all depending upon a particular case. But anyway, I told you that I need to start from top view. Then it is given that one of the sides is perpendicular I mean, and resting on HP. So initially I will consider this particular side. You can just see this particular side now. So this particular side I will keep it perpendicular to VP. So this is my initial position. So initial position, what to do then? I will look from the top view. If you look from the top view, I can draw this particular square here. And if you look from the front view, what will happen? In the front view, this particular lamina, since it is perpendicular to VP, it is seen as a line. So where do you draw that line? This particular lamina is seen as a line, I will be drawing it on the X line itself. Because I wanted this particular one of the sides to rest on the HP or rest on the ground. Otherwise, I would have kept in this view. Okay. So this is my initial view. So what is the next view? In the second stage, I need to satisfy the inclination of the lamina. Okay, where do you show the inclination of the lamina? Just now I told you, initially, what I said? The inclination of the lamina will be shown in that particular view wherein the lamina is seen as a line. So where it is seen as a line? In the front view. So in the front view, I will incline that line. So if I incline that line means, I am inclining the lamina itself. Okay, so now either I can incline like this, incline like this, especially for square lamina. Because anyway, square lamina, no, this is, these two sides are parallel to one another. So obviously, even if I lift in this way, rest one of the sides on HP, even if I lift in this way, then also rest one of the sides on HP. 
but generally we lift in this way only. Okay, let us say we lift in this way. How much we lift? I will lift this lamina such that this inclination, this particular inclination should be equal to 30 degrees. So once I lift it, what will happen? That particular line, the lamina which, which should have been seen there should be inclined. That should be inclined to XY line by 30 degrees. Okay, now once I do that, what will happen to your uh, corresponding uh, top view now? In the top view initially, I would have seen the true shape. Now the lamina is inclined to HP. Now since the lamina is inclined to HP, what about your new top view? Your new top view will no longer will give the true shape. It will give what? It will give the apparent size or I can say it will not be the true shape. Since the lamina is inclined to HP, what about the size of the lamina? The size of the lamina will be smaller. Is it clear? So let me do this. So once you understand the problem, no need for you to do the actual demonstration. Not at all required. So once you understand the concepts, you can simply just follow the procedure. Okay. So as usual, let me draw the XY line. XY line. Then anyway, we know that in this particular case, the lamina is inclined to HP. So let's assume lamina to be parallel to HP. So two shapes have been seen in top view. I need to start from top view. Then also it is given that one of the side is resting on one of the side resting on the ground or HP. So that particular side should be taken perpendicular. So I will take one side perpendicular. So I will just draw like this. This is one of the sides which is resting on the ground. So once I get this particular side, I need to complete the square. So what is the square? It comprises of four sides. So let me complete that. Okay, now I just draw the square. The next step is, I need to name them. So what about the naming? Just remember what I told you in the last class. In the last class, I told on the last session, what I told you was, this is x y line, this is the lamina, observe. For the observer, start naming them from the leftmost visible point in the anti-clockwise direction. So I will read as A, B, C, D. This is the lamina. Now I need to write the front view. What is the front view? Because anyway I said that I want this diagonal such that one of the sides should be rest on the ground. Now since I want one of the sides to rest on the ground, initially I can assume that the entire lamina is on the ground itself. So if I say, if it is the ground base, I need to draw this lamina on XY, which is seen as a line. So this is the line. So this is the lamina now. Now what about the namings? So I can see this A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash in brackets. So again I, I don't want to again explain this too much. You know that. So for the observer, only A and B can be seen, C cannot be seen, bracket, D cannot be seen, bracket. So of course they are all dashes because it is different. This is stage 1. What about stage 2? In the stage 2, I need to satisfy the lamina inclination. Now the lamina is inclined to what plane? Inclined to HP. And already to do that, I need to show the inclination lamina in that view, wherein the lamina is seen as a line. Where it is seen as a line? In the front view. So I need to incline this line. If I incline the line itself, means that I am inclining the lamina. See here, if I incline this, what will happen? If I incline this figure, what will happen? If I incline this figure, only a particular side will, I am just going to see that a particular side is inclined to VP. Okay, so remember, when I want to show the lamina inclination, in that particular view, the lamina should be seen as a line. Okay, now it is given that the lamina is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So, I will just take one point, then I will measure this, 30. I mean, this particular uh, side, which is given as 35 mm in this particular case. So, this is the lamina. So, that it will be A test. I am just redrawing the figure. I am not doing anything. I am just redrawing the lamina such that I need to satisfy the lamina inclination. So this lamina inclination is given how much? It is given as 30 degrees. Now since the lamina is inclined, as you can see, the lamina will become smaller in size because the lamina is inclined to HP. Since it is inclined to HP, in the top view, it will be smaller in size. So how do you get your final top view? To get the final top view, I need to draw the vertical projectors from the new front view and draw the horizontal projectors from the previous top view. So just remember that. Okay, just I am going to draw these projectors.
then get those points a means a yes, see this this is a vertical projector or the projector vertical projector or the projector similarly c and d and then join them in the same proper sequence so what are the sequence a to b b to c c to d d back to a so now as you can say this is the final figure why it is a final figure now we can see if i see this particular figure still in one of the view also it is seen as a per uh, line line means what that particular plane should be perpendicular to what plane then since it is seen as a line in the front view so since it is seen as a line in the front view means what it is perpendicular to bp but now it can see this square lamina is seen as a smaller in size that means what the lamina is inclined to hp so now we can say in stage one stage one means what you should remember always this here stage one means lamina is parallel to hp and perpendicular to that is stage 1 what will be stage 2 so what is in stage 2 i will say lamina is inclined to hp and still it is perpendicular to hp Understood? Thank you.